Hey guys, it's Bank for About PC Gaming here, bringing you some Forza Motorsport 7 demo footage. Now, settings I'm using is a dynamic render quality of Ultra. Resolution is at my native, which is 3440 by 1440. Looking at the advanced settings now, I've got performance target to 60 FPS with VSync. The game is actually locked to 60 FPS, but if you have VSync enabled, it will be locked to your monitor's refresh rate. Mine is at 100. At the moment, so I'll be able to go up to at least 100 frames per second. Resolution scale is at 100, so that's going to be my native resolution. Nanostropic sort filtering is at 16 times. Everything else is maxed out as much as possible. The only anti aliasing method I've seen is multi sample anti aliasing, which is a maximum of 8. And as you can see, everything else is at the maximum it can possibly be. So this is a game I've been waiting for a long time, so I'm excited to play the demo. I'll be driving the Porsche 911. Okay, now jumping into the race, I'm just going to quickly show you um, the in-game settings. So for the assists, I'm not using any. Driving assists, such as suggested line braking, steering, traction control, stability control, I'm manually shifted to gears, damage, fuel, and tire wear are at simulation level, rewind and friction are both disabled as well. So the driver tar difficulty, which is pretty much the AI difficulty, is on average. And uh, I've also got limited aggression on by default, which stops them from driving dirty in a, in a nutshell, basically. No side swiping and tailgating. So, let's see how I do. I'll be driving, because there's two laps on this game, I'll be driving the chase camera and uh, cockpit camera for the second lap, just to give you two different types of perspective. But as you can see, the game looks absolutely stunning. Amazing game to look at, I have to say. And just the draw distance for the scenery is amazing as well. It's not just the track, um, the environment itself looks pretty good. This car's really powerful in the low gears because it's got so much torque, so I really do need to be very careful with the traction control and try to limit how much. I put the hammer down in the low corners because I will lose control of this car very, very, very quickly. So for me, this is quite a watershed moment because I've played every Forza there is since Xbox. And to see it finally come to the PC is amazing because it's one of the best driving franchises, racing games available. And it's something that the uh, PC platform has been crying out for. We obviously we don't get Gran Turismo, which is um, strictly Sony, and Forza Motorsport was previously just a console exclusive. And uh, to see on the on the PC now, um, it's great. One thing I like about this game as well is, uh, as you can see, we're driving on bricks now. It's a bit different from the tarmac, and it really does feel different from the tarmac. That there's a different level of grip and there's, um, it feels completely different. So the surface and the materials do play a factor in how the car performs, which is another attention to detail that Turn 10 I've had. I'm really struggling to tame this car's um, torque. It really does have a lot of torque in the low corners, in the low gear, sorry. Let's see if I can get in front of this guy. I'm trying to drive as clean as I can, in my best interest as well, because I'm driving with a simulation level of damage, so if I sm smash up the car, um, it's going to affect the way it performs. This is what I think is pretty cool. The way they got the sand just... Ooh, almost lost control of the car there. The way they have the sand just overlapping the tarmac, that looks amazing. Ooh, just lost the car into that corner there. Need to try and race a bit cleaner for the rest of the race. If I ever hope to win this race, we need to start doing a bit better than this. Oh, it's pretty twitchy. It looks amazing. It looks a very beautiful car, but I assure you, it's not very easy to handle. I'm more of a Ferrari guy. Can't wait to get my hands on the Ferrari 458 Italia and the La Ferrari as well. And um, the Porsche is a good looking car, though. And I feel it has got the speed to catch whatever car is in front of me. I just need to drive better. So I'm going to switch 
to the cockpit view as I promised just to give you a different perspective I do drive a little better in the cockpit view as well so I might if I focus hard enough be able to win this race I don't want to go too crazy with the acceleration because I'll overshoot the corners The low gears, this car is so hard to control. I think I am catching up with this car ever so slightly. If I can just keep this up. I'll really feather the throttle here or you'll just, the back will step out. So much torque in the low gears. So yeah, as you can see, one core is pegged at 100%, which is an issue that we had on Forza Motorsport, I mean Forza Horizon 3, and um, this is probably the, the main reason why the game's kind of stuttering, um, hopefully they'll get that sorted out before the game launches officially, because it was a problem that was fixed by a dynamic processing load option which was added to Forza Horizon 3 which improved performance so hopefully it will do the same for this game as well but generally the GTX 1080 Ti are not having any issues maintaining um, 100 frames per second don't really think I'll be catching this car I haven't driven the cleanest race but uh, new to the game and I've got plenty of time to practice ahead of me part of the game is kind of hard. Almost lost the back again. Back into the tunnel. Yeah, I'm going to have to settle for second place. Not, not the worst result in the world, but I prefer to win as much as possible. So that's my first look at Forza Motorsport 7. Great looking game, just needs to work on the optimization a little bit. It's a bit stuttery, but great game though. Can't wait to buy the full version. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching.